and welcome back to Cato Living. We are here with Justin from Nicollet Bike and Ski. Thank you for joining us today because look at all of these bikes that we have. Justin, just go down the line. Let's start. What's your favorite one to start with? Because we're trying Ooh, to find the right bike for question. us. That's a great question. Well, this time of year is fun uh, with kids because kids do what? They grow and they grow over the winter. So uh -huh. when they get their bikes out, they're too tall for them now. So uh, we have kids' bikes of all different styles and sizes at the shop um, to accommodate any age kid as they grow quickly. Sweet. Um, we have various types of bikes here today to kind of show that we have bikes for everyone. So this mm -hmm. is a, it's called a gravel bike or sometimes a drop bar uh, bike that someone might ride on the pavement or the road. Uh, E-bikes are a huge popular thing these days and that's uh, a bike that I have here on my left represented. So it's got a motor in it with a battery, can help uh, power you up that big huge hill that prevents you from riding your bike or gets you home when you're extra tired. Mm -hmm. And then we have non-traditional bicycles, which we could call a trike. Uh, obviously, <laughs> we have bikes like that to help folks that maybe have a balance challenge or, or uh, aren't confident in their ability to pedal around a, a two-wheeled bicycle. So wow. we got a little bit of everything. And so what would you say um, to somebody who is, um, you know, they, they know how to ride a bike, um, but haven't ridden one in a long time, don't really know how they're going to be using it. Like, what types of questions um, should somebody ask themselves sure. before coming to you? Sure. Uh, think about where they would want to ride primarily. Um, not only location, but also the surface that they may ride on. So a lot of us live in town, but a lot of people live rurally in the country on a gravel road. And there's different types of bikes and tire sizes and widths that accommodate those different types of riding uh, better. So. And so when you're, when you're looking at the different, uh, the different type of bike for the different uh, like pavement styles, um, what is the, uh, what is like, is it that big of a deal, you know, to use like really, really thin tires sure. mm. on a gravel road yeah. or off-road? Like yeah. what, what sure. is the yeah. issue with Great that? Great question. So generically speaking, on, on pavement or very smooth surfaces, a narrower tired bike, similar to this or even narrower, typically rolls faster and more efficiently. So rather it might be riding on a paved trail and their goal is 20 or 30 miles or longer, would go for a bike tire of this size or narrower over say something that's like on the on this e-bike here where it's much wider. Now a rider that's going to go ride the mountain bike trails at the Qantas Recreation Area in town or Mount Cato uh, are going to have a desire to have a much wider tire with more traction on it to be able to get grip and stability in the off-road conditions that they may And that's encounter. grip and stability like when you're, you're what you can feel under you as you're riding. Yeah, yeah, like okay. corn, like for tur turning really sharply on dirt, uh -huh. our tire's more likely to slide out than it would say on pavement. So there's different okay. tread patterns for the different surfaces that one might ride on. But so. if somebody is just being a casual rider, like you wouldn't yeah. necessarily have to think about that. Correct, mm. absolutely, yes. Yeah. So casual riders usually are on pavement uh, and the bikes that they would choose to ride are going to have an appropriate style and size tire to accommodate that for sure. Great. Right. And Justin, if someone wanted to come find a bike for themselves, where yeah. can they find you? So we are right in Old Town, Mankato uh, at 607 North Riverfront Drive and we have a website, nicoletbike.com and come, come see us and take a bike for a ride. Yeah, might That'd as well. Fun. Thank yeah. you so much, Justin, yeah. for being Thank here you. today. Absolutely. Thank and you. And stay with us. We'll wrap things up after the break.